Today we look at the shabby state of the R523 road between Paradise and Sibasa. Built in 1988, the road has seen better days and is riddled with potholes. Numerous fatal accidents were reported on the road over the festive seasons and uh, there have been demands for it to be rebuilt. Residents and motorists in the Bembe district in Limpopo hope President Ramaphosa will address the issue of poor road conditions in his State of the Nation address tonight. For more on the story, let's cross live now to our colleague Rutendo Bobodi. Rutendo, we can already see the potholes in the background. An analyst of uh, we were speaking to earlier mentioned potholes on national roads as a big problem in the country. What are the residents of Bembe saying? Yeah. Thank you so much, Desri. I was trying to rifle through my vocabulary to find words to describe the state of this road. Like you said, you know, intra, it's, it, it has seen its better days. Built back in 1988, between 1987 and 1988 by the then vendor um, government. And, you know, this, this area in general is low-lying area and it's prone to floods, you know, with, um, of course, Mother Nature, a lot of rains uh, coming down. Um, this road has now uh, started developing these potholes. As I said, it's laden with potholes, not just potholes, but gaping uh, potholes. You know, drivers are, uh, are, are compelled to, to drive on the sides of the road because there's basically no road. And I was listening to uh, um, uh, some of the uh, 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 residents here saying look it's better to just peel it off and we drive on on gravel because it's not working they've tried a few times to replenish it uh, but it's, it has not been working and sometimes you see residents trying to fill these uh, uh, potholes with sand but it doesn't last you know when it rains it takes only a day for for the road to return back uh, to its shabby uh, state as you said you asked me what are the residents saying? They are saying exactly that they are not happy and they want the president to start talking about this road. Why? This is uh, some sort of an economic road um, between the N1 and Sibasa. And a lot of people here are involved in small-scale business, you know, like your uh, agriculture, and they like to take their produce uh, to town, especially Louis Trichard and, and Poyendo. But it's, it's tough for them. It's been a nightmare. Some of them calling it a, 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 a death trap. I was driving here in December with my family and uh, we saw an accident where uh, three people died in that accident and uh, the explanation was one of the drivers who was trying to dug uh, to, to dug a pothole. You know, if that is anything to go by, then it is truly a death trap. But let me bring uh, one of them here. Uh, sir, thank you so much for your time. Uh, well, Mshabi, Ronald Mabogo. Okay, what do you mean? Uh, Rene, Rene, Taizo, Apaka R523, Bada, hey, Nuni, Ipiruanga, Gravel. Bada he nuni yota hara. Zino bachi kwa mba. Baba na tichexi. Hanefa bazi. Trakale remranga. Liko pempa na kugoroi. Nendi shumane patsin. Ndi witnesa. Eh, uhumpa na tigoroi. Wano skusa uraru kana uudna. Zino nere kuwa yorondini na kwa mba. Yondi orika gafimende. Anise zi bada ana. Ngari bada zigoroi atiko kono chimbira. Kwina bako bada iliwa. Kaba kure bada gravel. That would be much better. Nisho 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 He's basically confirming what I was saying. Uh, he has a business here next to the road and he says he witnesses uh, accidents happening due to the, uh, the, the state of the road, uh, road here. He says uh, that you need advanced driving skill to drive on this particular road. I'm going to bring in uh, another uh, one here. Uh, thank you so much for your time, sir. What, uh, your name, please? Lucky Sadiki. Okay. Uh, Mr. Sadiki, just tell us about the, the state of the road here and what would like the president to say about this particular road in his uh, son address? I think saying it won't do because this road has been like this for, I don't know, over 20 years. The patch for some time, the patch here and there, but it doesn't last. So I think this road should just be scrapped and then we drive on the gravel road because now the tire road on its own, it damages our, our tires, our makes and all that. So I think the best way would be to scrap it and then we drive on the uh, a gravel road up until there is a money to have the tire road. Uh, the president just opened some newly built, newly built road in other areas. 
uh, like uh, Murivang uh, on Tuesday. Uh, what would you like to see happening here? I, I think they should uh, introduce that in this area as well because now we are affected, our businesses are affected severely so because now when we try to bring investors and sponsors to, to, to come this side, but they're badly because there is no road. So I think the president should uh, take action and rebuild this road. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Desiree. Um, I don't need to, if, to translate that. Of course, as you can see, while we hear um, uh, cars passing just uh, behind us, it's a busy road. It links from the N1 also uh, links to, to, uh, to the 524 road that uh, leads to the iconic Kruger National Park. So this road uh, definitely needs some replenishing. It is in a very uh, shabby state here. As I said, accidents are happening all the time here. So um, I think it's a, it, it needs uh, to be replenished, to be rebuilt as a matter of agency. Desiree?